Good morning, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing some painting here and uh, there's something I want to make a video about really quick that I've been thinking about for quite a while. I needed a kind of a break from painting anyway. Um, and it's regarding a return air. A return air for an HVAC system and I just kind of want to talk you through uh, the concepts involved with that and uh, show you the way I have it set up at my house. So the concept for return air is pretty obvious. Basically you have your supply vents throughout the house and the air from those supply vents needs to find its way back to the HVAC system. Obviously that's really important to be able to get the air that comes out of your supply vents back to the furnace uh, to then be reconditioned again. Uh, but what I kind of have noticed is that it is talked about uh, in such a way by some people in the HVAC industry uh, in regards to the return air ductwork, that you always need return air ductwork no matter what. And that just isn't the case, and that's kind of the point of this video. I want to show you how my system is set up with no return air ductwork whatsoever. So right now we're in one of the bedrooms. You can see I have a vent right there as well as right there. Now this room, uh, technically, when the door is closed, would be closed off and would need a return air grill uh, and you could you know traditionally it would be duct work uh, in my case I have what's called a jumper duct so right here I have an opening that I'll put a return air grill on and then out here in the hallway I have another I have the return air grill here uh, that one is for the kids bedroom there and over here in the master bedroom it's the same exact concept uh, you should have a return air in uh, every bedroom um, just so that you have that ability for that air to flow back towards the furnace. Now I've got the same thing going on right here, return air, grill, and another one over there. Um, I have them running in such a way that uh, there shouldn't be much noise transfer between rooms. Um, so those two rooms would have been pressurized if I hadn't put jumper ducts in. Now, uh, as far as the rest of the return air duct work, uh, you're looking at it right now. Uh, the air, once it comes out of the vents, I'll show you up in the attic here. There's a couple vents in the attic here. So when the air gets pushed up, it can freely make its way down here because it's just going to be a railing up here. There's not going to be a closed doorway or anything like that. So. We already know that the air transfers through from the bedrooms into the hallway here and it can naturally flow down the main level stairs and we obviously have vents throughout the main level. And here we'll go down towards the basement. Now actually just one quick note on bathrooms. Uh, we usually do put a supply run in a bathroom. Uh, but we do not cut a jumper duct through or we don't put return air in the bathroom for obvious reasons. So the way it would end up working is, let's say you, you had this door closed to the bathroom. Uh, if the HVAC system was running, uh, one of two things would happen. Uh, either just less air would be pushed out of the supply vent uh, because uh, the door is closed and the room would pressurize a little bit. Uh, and that's a good thing because you don't really want a lot of airflow pushing the fumes in the bathroom or sucking them around the house. But now when the door is open, um, this, this will operate as normal and the air will come into the restroom and then push out. But that will be when nobody is occupying it. Uh, either that or when the room is under pressure, it actually might naturally force a little bit of air out the uh, exhaust vent. So. Uh, that's just a little info on bathrooms. Don't cut a return air for them. It's just not necessary. All right, so right here at the top of the basement stairs, it's going to be the same thing again. There's going to be just a gate here. It's not going to be a full door. Uh, if there was going to be a door here, you could actually uh, cut a return, a large return air grill through the wall uh, into the rest of the house. Uh, if you were to have a door at the top of your stairs. So this can still work even if you uh, even if you are going to have a door at the top of your basement stairs or closet or wherever you have your HVAC equipment. Alright, we're down in the basement now here and we've got the basement office 
We have one heat vent in there, and I'm also gonna cut a jumper duct in here. I haven't uh, finished it yet. Uh, one tip for making a jumper duct is you can cut a hole up higher in a stud cavity on one side and down lower in the same stud cavity on the other side rather than cutting a jumper duct straight through the wall because that'll help uh, reduce the amount of sound that can transfer through the wall. If you have two return air grills right on the other side of each other, uh, then you can have a lot of sound transfer. That's why we did it the way we did it upstairs because the, the air has to go up and around and down and through and that prevents the sound transfer. So here you can see the ductwork and I'll take you over to the furnace here. It's kind of a mess. But you'll see all of my return air ductwork right here. There's the return air. So uh, this is what we kind of commonly refer to as a wild return. And uh, I uh, had gotten conflicting advice from people regarding whether or not it was necessary to put in return air ductwork. And uh, it ultimately came down to I was uh, going through a class on uh, ductwork design and um, the guy teaching it is super common sense and when it comes down to it he said you know if you have a clear path for your return air to follow uh, you really don't need to put in um, return air ductwork and those few rooms that would have been pressurized you know we cut the jumper ducts through and it's gonna work perfectly and uh, for this old farmhouse that we remodeled, it's 24 by 24, and putting another massive, you know, 8 by 24 duct or 8 by 20 duct throughout the house just takes up a lot of space. So here you can see the ductwork coming off the top of the furnace. Sorry for the mess. So, um, yeah, return air pulls in the side right there, comes out the top, and I have this zone for the upstairs. There's a zone motor there, so half of it breaks off right there. This is where it goes up, all the way up. Yeah, that's for the main level. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about with uh, return air ductwork. If this video helped you out, uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below for more helpful videos like this one. And uh, yeah, I'll do my best to provide more helpful information in the future. Thanks again for watching. And we'll talk to you in the next video.